Brooklyn became the nation's most diverse city. So y'all didn't know that, I know, but we're a global city and everybody all over the world, everybody looking for, everybody looking for a place where they can work for a better life is finding their way to Houston. And they were finding our, their way to a neighborhood in Houston called Gulfton. And the demographers were saying, this is Houston's Ellis Island. But everybody was studying it in terms of what was wrong with it. It was the high school dropout, non-English speaking, uninsured, low birth weight, baby juvenile crime. You've heard it all. And that was the story of Gulfton. And nobody wanted to go into Gulfton. And the police didn't want to go into Gulfton. And when they got into Gulfton, they were these big apartment complexes. They didn't want to go into those. And we said, it's not all there is to know. There is a different story. And we went into Gulfton and using appreciative inquiry, people like Oriana Garcia, who is one of our big pioneers, went out with a brand new set of questions. Now we like to say at Neighborhood Centers, the change begins with the first new question. And that's when I sit across the table from you and I don't say, tell me how you're broken, what you're missing, what you haven't accomplished, how you failed, where you're lacking. I say instead, tell me what's remarkable about this neighborhood. Tell me somebody in this neighborhood that's made a difference in your life. Tell me who you go to when you want help with your child. Tell me your deep, deeply held aspirations. What brought you here? What will you work for? What matters most more to you than anything else? Because you see, if we will build on those deeply held aspirations, and if we will treasure those dreams and construct the help around those, we don't have to worry about sustainability. That's sustainable. We don't have to worry about models for transformation. That will work.